Hello everyone, I'm Frank from Frank's Gloss and uh, we are back with an update video today on the 10 gallon uh, dip tank. Um, right now I'm looking at it and uh, I thought it would be nice to let you guys know. I'm going to see if I can show you here. But uh, we got babies and uh, more than one. So let's see if we can get the smallest one into the picture. And by small, I mean real small. Like so small you might have just seen a move, but there he is. That is the smallest baby I have in the tank. He is hiding right next to the bristle nose right now for some reason, and he's not really moving much, but uh, he's a baby, so probably doesn't want to be eight. <laughs> I could uh, probably imagine how he's feeling right about now. He's uh, small, and uh, if you guys are hearing that, that's probably my uh, air pump for the uh, tank moving on uh, we have a few other uh, I want to say they're adults yet but uh, we got a few other babies in here although I can't really see where they are for some reason they're hiding um, they're probably hiding over there in the cave that I put plant cover in front of to make it a little bit more Homey, I guess, is the word I'm going to use for that. The bristle nose have not started breeding yet, unfortunately, but uh, in case you guys haven't noticed, I have snails, and uh, by snails, I mean I have snails. Like, uh, you guys ever see this on your tank? Get rid of them. Get rid of them, because they're probably snails, and... I got lots of them. In fact, I got like, like I mean, I got snails all over the place. Um, I really don't mind them because I usually do take them and I use them to feed my pea puffer population. Oh, here's one of the other babies. He's going back to hide behind plants, but there he is. There's another one at least. We have uh, two younger ones, and then that baby that I uh, showed you guys. And so far, those are the only three that I've seen. I am checking daily for more. The both are uh, sorry. Three of the females are pregnant, and uh, I would not be surprised if they all gave birth one like right after the other. The normal time it takes for them to give birth is about I think it's somewhere between 20 and 30 days um, however um, I've never had like uh, guppies born early I, I've seen that before I, I it's just never really happened for me I guess um, uh, you guys don't know what I'm talking about sometimes the the fry will be born early with the egg sac uh, still attached and uh, depending on how big it is they could eat on that for the next week or so but uh, sometimes they are born with that so if you see a little bump under their neck when they're first born that's nothing to worry about it's just that they're a little premature um, I usually uh, feed them a uh, it says beta treat on the bottle, but it's actually uh, dehydrated blood worms. Um, you can take that, baby brine shrimp, uh, daphina. There's a lot of things that you can feed baby fry. Um, you want to stick with a nice meaty supplemented diet until they're about... I'd say not, maybe not full adult size, but close. Um, another thing is you, you want to keep the light on. I know that this is kind of turned into a guppy info video, but that's basically re the reason why I'm doing this 10 gallon uh, guppy tank. Um, I wanted to uh, give the channel something that I can update uh, almost... Uh, 
whenever I want really I guess. Um, I have two other guppy tanks that are doing somewhat okay. Uh, they're just waiting on the uh, females to give birth. God, my sinuses are killing me. Anyways, um, this is uh, the reason why I'm making this video is because I'm basically going to be talking about uh, guppies and uh, basically everything you would need to know about the uh, hobby as far as guppies. I mean, there's bristle nose pluckos in there too, but you know. Um, one of the reasons I also started this tank is because while I'm informing people, I wanted to tell people why I got into the hobby. And uh, I've never really kept guppies until recently. Um, I guess last year is when I really started keeping guppies and I've had to learn a lot. I'm usually uh, more prone to picking the bigger fish. Oscar, if uh, anyone is wondering, is still alive and well. He is doing well and for some reason we can't seem to get rid of uh, there's a little hole in the head problem, but it keeps on getting smaller, so maybe it's just taking a while. I do know that uh, if it does heal, if it's really, really progressed, yeah. or bad as mom. Say hi, mom. Hi. Uh, progressed, as mom has said, uh, it can take a while to heal, and uh, that is one of the things. So if you guys ever have Oscar... I would recommend keeping this on hand. It's a uh, Metroplex. It's by Seachem. It's uh, what we use. It's what my fish guys uh, prescribed. The, the hole in the head will have will start off like a little white spot on his head or around the eyes. But so if you see a little bitty white spot, it won't hurt him to treat him the hole in the head. You really don't want it to get worse. Yeah, as I've uh, mom was saying, if you guys do see that little white, uh, little, little white specks, don't be afraid to treat them with this uh, Metroplex. It's what I use. It's by C Cam. You can probably get at most uh, fish stores. If not, they should be able to order it or give you something else that will work. I'm not really an API fan because I've used API medication before, and sometimes it doesn't always work. Not simply because they're trying to rip people off, um, more of a, sometimes it can just be a bad batch. And uh, the medicine isn't as strong as uh, it's supposed to be. I'm going to feed these guys right now actually because they're just chasing around one of the babies. If they're getting hungry. Make sure that if when you do go feed the babies, make sure it's small enough for them to eat. Uh, but uh, yeah, um, not much more else to really say, um, except keep an eye on the guppies. They, they, however, they're a beautiful fish. They do have uh, several problems due to their fancy fins, um, ick and uh, fin rot. It, they are highly susceptible to like it's it, it's out of this world. How susceptible they can be to fin rot. They are not as healthy as they used to be. Back in my day, guppies, mollies, platies, they were hard to kill. Nowadays, it's not that it's not that hard. And uh, while I'm explaining that, I'm gonna let you guys see the adult guppies. See some of the pregnant ones, maybe, and you'll get the idea of what a pregnant one looks like. As you can see, they have that black spot right about there that I just got into camera he keeps on moving maybe this one he's got that black spot right there and that, that that's a sign that they're heavily pregnant but uh, back on to the topic of what we were talking about um, yeah um, fish are highly susceptible or I should say some fish are more highly susceptible to disease right now because they've just been bred continuously and continuously and continuously and that's more due to the fish you have being inbred 
Um, I've heard reports that it really doesn't damage the line all that much. And then again, I've heard things that inbreeding totally ruined the line and that it makes every fish in the batch highly susceptible to disease. I don't know if that's totally 100% true. And I'm not going to say it is because I can't prove it. I'm not a scientist. But from what I've seen, it doesn't really hurt as long as you don't do it multiple, multiple, multiple times. Like, if you keep breeding and all the guppies in that tank are related, there's a problem. You should probably take some of those guppies out, maybe put them in another tank with other guppies so they can breed and spread those genes and maybe get some new guppies for the guppies that you replaced. Um... I know this was only a short 10 minute video, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, it's not really that I don't have a lot to talk about, it's just this is more of just an update video on the 10 gallon tank. If you guys want to know more about guppies, I would be willing to do an entire another video about guppies. Um, I'd be able to tell you guys about the business prospects of it, how you would go about that. Um, how to raise them from birth this is another reason why I'm showing you guys this tank I'm basically raising these guppies from birth and I want you guys to uh, see how that goes for me in case that might be something you guys are interested in you have some knowledge to fall back on and hopefully help you out anyways guys uh, I know this was only a short like 11 10 minute video but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, I'm Frank that's mom we're from Frank Quox. Sign out. Stay frosty, everyone. Have a nice day.